It's Tricky with Adrian. I got this Crayola paint maker for Christmas and today I'm going to see how well it works. I also have this refill pack right here. Now let's open it up. So first I have this baggie with a whole bunch of things in it. It's the, this is what you use to put all your paints in, the little paint containers. So that's what it looks like. And then it closes shut. And then we have part of, part of the set. Two trays, which I'm gonna keep over here to assemble it. And then here's this part of it. You also have some some of the glue stuff, um, and some other stuff, and a paintbrush too. Paint. Then you get a tip for something. Of course you have a paintbrush. You have this color strips. The color strips are inside of there. And then you will, and then we also have this thing. And these. We also have some paper in here. The guide to make different colors. Some labels to label your colors. or something on your work surface like I put an old towel on here because it will stain your clothes or your work surface. So I'm going to put it together now. Okay so now I'm going to put all my things in this area, and I already put my paintbrush in. I'm going to start with the color strips. And it has a tear strip too, so you don't even need scissors. So here are your strips, and they come in different colors. So my first one's red, and then they go right in here, so red, there's the blue, and there's the yellow. And you get the primary colors because you can make anything, mostly any colors, out of the primary colors. So you don't get other colors, just the primary colors. So there we go. And then this goes right in here, and then you can put one of your paint cans, which I'm trying to close it right now, right in here. And then all your empty paint cans will go in here, so I'm going to do that. I'm making sure they're all closed, though. I think they have to be closed or else they won't fit because the lid will be blocking the other ones. They're a little hard to close, but I think I got it. So here's your palette, which shows you how to make different colors. 
And you see up here it says blue plus yellow, red plus blue, yellow plus red. And then it shows you over here, so red goes first, so you're going to have five red and zero blue. And then um, if you want right here, you have four red and one blue. So I'm going to start by making purple. And then, but first, I'm going to show you that over here, it's shiny. And it's like a sticker. You want to peel that off. And then you do, and then there's lines, which are your tabs, your strips. And then, but first, you want to do the paint base. And then you can put your strips in there. And then you put it on here. Make sure it's closed all the way. And, um, so like. And then you just put it on here with this part facing the, the empty part right here. And then you just turn it continuously in one direction for 30 seconds. So I'm going to start off by making my colors. So I'm going to fill it to the fill line. I can take this off. I'm going to move this out of the way so it doesn't get dirty. I'm going to even it out so I don't get it too high. I think that's good. Okay, so now... And if you want to, you can even just put it right here and do your stuff. So I'm going to do that now. So for the purple, I need a four red and one blue. So I'm going to drop that in there. And then you don't need the backing anymore. That's just so it doesn't come apart. And, and these aren't sticky. And then... I'm going to turn it for 30 seconds. Okay, so now I'm going to take it out and see if it needs more mixing, which I think it does. Yes, it definitely needs a lot more mixing. So, I need to mix it more. I think it's because it kind of stopped at times, so. Okay, so here's what it looks like, and I'm gonna stir it up because I don't, because there's still some white at the bottom. Seems like it's all good now. Cause I can't see any white at the bottom, so now I'm gonna give it a name. I didn't have very much room to write purple, and I didn't exactly know how to spell. Um, perfect, but I think it's good. And 
There we go. So I wrote, I wrote perfect purple. And the purple wasn't very good because I didn't have enough room. So that's what our paint looks like. And now I wrote a label that says perfect purple. And now I'm going to use it on a piece of paper. I made a little swirly design and that's what it looks like. So now I might make another color. And it turned out really good. I really liked how it turned out. So this is what the paint looks like on my paper. I think I gave it a good name by, ma by naming it Perfect Purple. So I have this refill pack that when I use up all the paints over there, I have this refill pack that I can use. So on the back, it, it says it comes with another color mixing guide, base paint, which is the white paint, five sheets of paper, five custom paint labels, one ring storage insert, five paint pot links, five paint pots, and then 15 color strips, but it says 75. So I really like that. It was a lot of fun making my, my um, purple, and I can't wait to make more colors. And it seemed a little hard to put together, but other than that, it was what it was really fun. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave in the comments which video what you would like me to do a video on next. Goodbye.